Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It is a beautiful day, I'm sat on my bed and I'm ready to film. Got some peonies in the background, love and life. So today I am doing a 10 new beauty launches video. I have decided that some of my beauty launches videos are so crazily long that I have kind of knuckled down my top 10 favourites or the products that products and new launches that I really want to share with you that I think may be of interest and may apply to you the most. So I am going to get started with the first new launch that you've all seen me talk about before. It is the Tarte and Graveyard Girl collaboration. So I know that this is so hard to get hold of, like even if you're in the US it's so difficult to get hold of because they are selling out like hot cakes. And uh, I know that this one's just not available anymore at all. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint by Bunny. This is in the shade Swamp Family, which is a gorgeous red. And then this one, again, is a very in very limited supply. This is Texas Toast. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I have done a whole video on this collection if you want to see more. I just wanted to give it a little quick mention in this one, though. Then this is the Swamp Queen palette. So uh, we've got nine eyeshadow shades and then three complexion options. We've got a bronzer, blush and a highlight. So it's absolutely stunning. I really hope it's more readily available ASAP for people in the UK because we are big fans of Bunny too and we love Tarte and also we love great makeup products. So that is uh, new launch number one. New launch number two are these. These are the Born This Way concealers by Too Faced. So I believe there's like 12 or 15 shades. I have three of the paler shades here because let's be honest, I'm gonna be one of the top three paler shades. Um, but if it's if they're anything like the foundation, which I've heard they are, then I have high hopes for these. I haven't tried one yet, but I've got the shade very fair, fair and light. So one of these has got to work. They're, they're all slightly different with different undertones, but let's be honest, they all look pretty similar. Um, but I can't wait to find out more. Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I've just got a page up here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shades, actually. Um, so the very fair is pale with pink under, undertones, which is definitely what I am. It says, instantly hide imperfections, vanish the appearance of dark circles, and blur the look of lines and wrinkles for complete coverage. So undetectable, they'll think you were born this way. They're on a little doe for applicator. Oh my goodness, the biggest seagull ever just nearly crashed into my window. <laughs> it was very large. Sticking with Too Faced, I have another new launch. So this came out a few months ago, but I'm not sure about the other product with it. So we all know and love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. So they have come out with the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. Now I am yet to try this. I know some people love it. I know some people hate it. I myself don't really wear waterproof mascara. I don't really like it. For me, it gets really crumbly. Uh, well, all the ones I've used anyway, and it's always a pain in the bum to get off. So they've brought out the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil Waterproof Ma Mascara Dissolver. This looks very similar to the original Better Than Sex Mascara. The packaging is like watery mint, and uh, it's got little raindrops all over it, which I kind of like. And then this, ooh. It's kind of like a super duper flat, non-bristled, but ridged mascara wand that's very oily. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try those two together very soon, but I don't know. Let me know if you've tried this and let me know if it differs from other waterproof mascaras because I've just never really got on with them. Next new launch, I'm gonna go in with this one. Now this is from Lancome. This is the Grand Wild Liner. So we have already seen their mascara like this with their wand is very like bendy and the benefits of that are you can really wiggle in and get from the root of the lash to the tip and really create that gorgeous gorgeous fluttery eyed look. So now they've brought out the liner. So the packaging's very, very similar. We've got the uh, ombre look with the little long com rose. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it bends. At first I was like, I'm just break I'm breaking it. But no, it's supposed to do that. It moves and uh, it clicks. And um, the liner itself is in a little pot, which typically I don't like. However, I'm actually wearing that today and I found the application process really, really easy. Now, truth be told, I did not have it at an angle at all. I literally just applied it how it is. Would it be better? Not like that. Maybe like this. 
but uh, the little nib itself is so so small and thin so you can really get that defined line which I really like a really sharp wing but I'm uh, very excited for this and I'm definitely gonna keep keep using it and see what I think I'm definitely gonna try it with a a little bend in there too. Next up I have a new launch from Lottie London so I'm not that familiar with the brand. I know they do nail polishes, I have a few of those and a couple of their makeup brushes as well but if anything, if there's a new highlight you know I have to try it. So they have come out with these new strobe sticks aka little cream highlight sticks and uh, they are cream highlighters. I've got one in Starstruck and one in Spotlight. There isn't too too much difference between them but I will just swatch Starstruck for you so I always always love these cream highlight sticks I just think they're so easy so foolproof you can literally boop 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 a lot of people are asked me on my best of the budget beauty brand for collection video because they have a cream highlighting stick that I love if you need to blend it out you <laughs> It depends what highlight look you're going for. If you want a more natural look, then probably this and then blend it out. But if you like quite a, then I typically just kind of like dab it on and then like leave it. Wow, I am very highlighted. But yes, very, wow, okay. We're gonna blend that just a, just a little bit. So those are some new little highlighters from Lottie London. And then we have a rather luxurious highlight, Marc Jacobs in Spotlight. So these little highlights look so, I really really love the packaging because it's white with a little Marc Jacobs logo there. So this one it winds up with a little black winder here. In the packaging it looks kind of funky, it looks like a bar of soap but I haven't actually tried this yet. I'm literally just going to be very highlighted right now if I try this but ooh. I feel like I shouldn't go the whole hog though because otherwise I'll be glowing. So this one is very, is really quite creamy. Um, the colour of it is just kind of <laughs> highlighty. It's not pinky, it's not champagne-y, it's more of a white highlight without being silver. It's kind of just like a natural colour of highlight. I really quite like it. I am... Um, Oh, well hello, I really like that. I um, definitely feel at the moment that there are so many drugstore brands that can do the exact same thing, but we'll see and I'll let you know how I go on with that. But Marc Jacobs is one of those brands that's super luxurious and suit like if you really want to treat yourself or have like a super luxury item, then um, why on earth wouldn't you? But me being me, I always think that's a drugstore alternative, but it is very, very gorgeous. Just to show you a little comparison, if you can even see, this is Marc Jacobs and that is Lottie London. New one from Ciate now. This is the Ciate Makeup Melter. This is a cleansing balm. I really love cleansing balms because I feel like they're so gentle and also moisturizing as well. So they're kind of like a two in one. I really love the packaging. It's like a little frosted glass pot. We've got a little mirrored lid with a bow and then the makeup melter is in like the font that I use on my thumbnails. So very much enjoyed that. Oh, let's give this a smell. There is no smell, which I accept. It's so creamy, oh my. I'm definitely gonna try this tonight when I take off my makeup because taking my makeup off is something I really, really enjoy doing. And um, yeah, that feels amazing. I'm just rubbing on my leg right now. But this, it feels like, oh, I wanna just like wipe it off. I feel like that's gonna do the job. Um, but I always love when, See, for me again, Ciate is like a nail brand. That's how I think of Ciate. So now they have skincare and it just kind of broadens the mind a little bit, but I'm definitely, definitely excited to give that a go. Then next up, I have something from It Cosmetics, which is rather large and it is the Laugh Love Live Palette. So I love It Cosmetics. I love the brand's message. I love how the brand started. I love how it's now sold on QVC UK, so you can now get it if you're in the UK, because I know it's more a lot more accessible in the US. Um, so this is the Laugh Love, it's so hard to say that because it's like, normally it's Live Love Love, 
Laugh, Love, Live, your most beautiful you anti-aging matte bronzer, radiance luminizer, and brightening blush palette. So we've got three complexion products. Oh, that's actually really sweet. With a big, big, massive mirror. So here's the highlight, the blush, and the bronzer. But I always love products that are a three in one or a two in one or palettes but it's not that big like I could easily take that around with me and I know that I can touch up my bronzer blush and highlight easily so that is the new it cosmetics complexion palette in laugh love live Ooh, I forgot this was Ciate uh, new launch from Ciate again this is their pretty sticks range so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lipsticks with one scrub stick as well so i don't really know too much about these but i absolutely adore the packaging they've got little kissy lips all over them so basically they're kind of like oh i really like that shade they're kind of like tinted balm type lipsticks why is that someone like hammering and they disturb the dog so they're like tinted balms leaning towards lipsticks but not quite as pigmented as a typical lipstick but they're so beautiful in the bullet okay they are they're, they're glossy they're balmy they're pigmented i really like them and then although i feel like i'm just gonna get this everywhere so let me grab this baby wire then it also comes with a lip scrub stick and uh with this i believe you need to get down through the balmy layer first and then you can get to the scrub bit because it's got little like scrubby particles in there which is super interesting so those are the ciate pretty sticks what a cute little name and then with the final 10th launch i'm kind of cheating a little bit here because collection have actually brought out quite a few new products I've bought out a bunch of new nail polishes, but my favourite is this one. This is the Collection Two Step Solar Shine Gel. This one, oh, where is the shade? This is in the shade Mauve Haze. So this is just the perfect pinky taupe. And one of the girl, right? Hang on. <laughs> Backstory. I went to see Rihanna with Collection. It was amazing. Loads of amazing girls there. We had such a good evening and laid out where all the new Collection launches. And one of the PRs was actually wearing this one. And I was like, which one is that? Because that's my favourite. So that was absolutely stunning. And then we have... Oh, this one I'm really, really excited about. This is the Collection Illuminating Touch Under Eye Brightener, and this is in shade one. So with this, I haven't actually used this one, but I tried one when we were there. This one you have to wind for like ages. I can see it, it's coming. Okay, and I remember, oh yes. <laughs> it's a pink undertone eye under eye brightener and it's just very beautiful and illuminating it's not glittery there's no like shimmer to it at all it's just a brightening awakening under eye concealer jobby under eye brightener illuminating touch shade one this under eye brightener is light diffusing and anti-fatigue with its pink and pale tones it will help to reduce any under eye blueness where to be illuminated i really like it i'm very excited by it and then I think they've brought out six new lip lacquers. These are the deluxe lip lacquers. I have two gorgeous shades here. I have this one in sparkling lights and then this one in prom queen. So they're quite, they're definitely a lip lacquer. Like they're, they've got a really nice little teardrop applicator and they're very pigmented. They are kind of sticky, but I feel like if you, wear it right then it won't be and then the final thing new from collection is this which is the extreme bold 24 hour felt tip calligraphy liner in black so the nib of this is so different to anything i've ever seen it's got like a thick bit and then a thin bit and then it kind of curves in and it's a thin tip and the idea of this is you can use it like like this way or that way and press different hardnesses and just create any kind of liquid liner look you want and uh that that's that and those are the new launches from collection and that also concludes this video those are 10 new beauty launches that are either out now or coming your way very very soon so give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know down below what products you are most excited to try let me know if you've already tried one of them or, or any of them let me know what one doesn't tickle your pickle doesn't float your boat uh 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!